This weekend we celebrate the 13th Sunday of the liturgical year. And this Sunday or this weekend is all about the excitement and the challenge of uh, beginning a new journey, an important journey. Around this time, many young people face the challenge of exciting and frightening freedom of leaving home to go into the unknown future. It takes place around this time and it's very uh, enlightening to see that the 13th Sunday of the ordinary time always falls around this end of June uh, as many people uh, venture into the new journey. Even it happens to the priest too. Uh, today is the last Sunday for those priests who are being transferred this year, not only in our archdiocese but also in many other dioceses. Next weekend, the first weekend of July, they take up their new assignment. So it is a time um, for some exciting and for some uh, little nervousness and, uh, um, you know, unknown future. I am into my new assignment and so I fall into the second category, a little nervous and unknown about the future here at Ascension. Uh, such a huge parish. Uh, prior to my this assignment, I was down in um, uh, Osawatomi, Mount City, Lassin, all these parishes put together, 225 families, and here we have 3,000 families. So, uh, so there is uh, some, you know, unknown thing. Um, that's why I came two weeks ahead of my assignment, uh, just to check out how you are. And so far, so good. <laughs> or I should say, so far, super nice. Uh, but sometimes, you know, we are good in the beginning and then we slowly tighten the screws, huh? <laughs> but I feel, I get a sense of being, um, you know, at ease and um, well, welcome and thank you for that. The journey into the future is the theme we found in today's readings. In the first reading, we heard about Prophet Elijah. Um, he is now tired out uh, and he wants to find a worthy successor um, for the work to carry on. And he finds one. He finds one young man, Elisha. Uh, son of a rich landowner, and he goes and throws his cloak around his shoulder, and um, Elisha feels the spirit. And then Prophet Elijah reminds him, one who sets the hand on the plow and looks back to see what was left behind he is not fit for the kingdom of God reminding him of the commitment to his calling. And we know the story, Prophet Elisha, he leaves behind everything and then follows his master. Even in the Gospels, Jesus invites his followers to accompany him on his last and exciting journey, important journey, important journey of his life from Galilee to Jerusalem. He has been doing all sorts of miracles, healing, and uh, preaching those wonderful sermons, Sermon on the Mount. Many people are attracted, and now he starts his journey to Jerusalem, a journey to face the cross, journey to the cross. And so Jesus takes time to remind his followers of the cost 
of following him. He has three incidents in the gospel where he reminds them what it cost to be his um, follower. We are into the ordinary time of the liturgical year. We have finished all the big feasts of Christmas, Easter, Lent, Advent, all those special seasons. And now it is uh, liturgically ordinary time of the year and it has great significance. No big feast, no major celebrations, but quiet growth of our life, spiritual life. We are invited now to study, to reflect, uh, to spiritually grow and uh, make that commitment of following Jesus in our daily life, little by little. And that's why these readings are very beautiful for us as we make this commitment into our ordinary time of the year. And so as we finish our celebration today and go out into our families, into our workplace, into our homes, into the world, we are invited today to keep in mind that commitment to follow Jesus. Even the commitment in the parish, I have seen in my last 10 days here, all these activities, programs in the parish. So many people have uh, committed themselves to the work of the church, work of the parish. And so now, during this time of the year, we are invited to go a little deeper. First of all, be grateful, thankful for the grace that we have received. And now we are invited to look into the cost of following Jesus by making our commitment a little more deeper. At the same time, we are reminded that God's grace is with us to put aside any obstacles, any challenges that might come on our way in following Jesus.